So in this case, you have the movie catalog service having the fallback, right? It's calling these two. If this one fails, or if this one fails, this one's gonna say, okay, I'm calling the fallback, and then it's returning that back, all right? I'm hoping this makes sense. The next question is, how does Hystrix do this? All you did was throw an annotation in there. You didn't add an if condition which says, if this, call this guy, Hystrix is managing all that. But then, who's calling your method? It's a REST controller, so it's the Spring Framework that's calling it. How does the Spring Framework know to do this versus that? So we kind of, we will do a little bit of how does Hystrix, um, we'll try to understand how Hystrix actually manages to do this versus this and all that stuff. The answer is actually pretty simple. It's basically how anything works in a Spring Framework, a whole lot of proxying, all right? So let's imagine this. Let's say you have your uh, API class, okay? You have uh, a method inside that API class, which you've annotated with a Hystrix command. You say, okay, this thing needs circuit breaking. I'm gonna give this as a fallback. Okay, now what does Hystrix do? Hystrix actually wraps your class in a proxy class, all right? So when somebody is saying, hey, give me an instance of that class, what they're gonna get back is not the instance of the class itself. They're gonna get back an instance of this proxy class that Hystrix has created and wrapped around it, okay? So this proxy class is gonna contain that circuit breaker logic. So when somebody makes a call, Hystrix is constantly monitoring what it's returning back, right? It's proxying it. It's saying, okay, I get a call. I'm gonna take the call, pass it to the actual method, get the call back, get the response back, examine it, make sure it's okay, and then return it back. So it's basically passing the parcel when things are good, but when things fail, it's gonna be like, oh, things, something is wrong. Now I need to see, do I have to call the call back? Do I have to call the fallback? It's um, constantly checking and when it realizes I need to break the circuit, it's gonna re redirect the method call to the fallback method until the parameter says, okay, I'm gonna try and call the method again, in which case it calls the method, all right? So this is what Hystrix is doing behind the scenes, and that's why you don't have to do a whole lot of stuff. All you had to do was stick that annotation in there, and that kind of creates this um, proxy logic which handles everything for you, all right? It's, looking at the parameters that you set in that annotation to decide when a circuit breaks, what to do when that circuit breaks, what fallback method to call and all that stuff, all right? This is important to remember because of a certain problem that we're gonna run into in a few minutes. You will know why knowledge of this proxy class is gonna help you and why that particular problem is gonna be an issue. It's because of the proxy class and we'll talk about ways to handle that as well. But remember, this is how Hystrix is handling it, right? It's creating this proxy class. It's creating this wrapper class, which contains that circuit breaker logic. And when everything is good, all that the wrapper class is doing is just calling the underlying method and returning the response to the caller. So it's doing kind of like a no-op, but it's always keeping track. All right, any questions before we move on?